What's up, guys? So, of course, I'm Cinder Gray. The name speaks for itself, so we just gonna get into it. I would like all of our content creators to come and join me for a panel up on the stage. That's right. That's right. And make sure, you guys, this is gonna be an open panel, so I'm gonna ask questions to our content creator, but I definitely want y'all to get into the conversation bit, all right? Let's go. Let me pull out my, you know, information. Yep. Yep. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna pass the mic down and allow each of you to introduce yourself, all right? What's going on, everybody? Wait, 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 mm -mm. What's going on, everybody? Yes, that's more like it. Um, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Jalen. I go by the name Lick My Fashion. I am a content creator and I'm a marketing mentor. And that's what I do. I teach people, you know, how to market, teach people how to just really get with their brand, um, teach them how to look good, and just basically saying who you are without having to speak. And that's who I am. All right. Hey, everybody. Good evening. My name is Cami Simmons. I'm a TV and radio personality and producer with brands like Hits 92.3. So we have the Trendsetter Lounge on Hits 92.3. And then um, I also work with other brands like XO Nicole and Yahoo and iHeartRadio, just to name a few. So I'm excited to be here. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, my name is Robbie World from Atlanta, born and raised. I'm a content creator, uh, director, producer, writer, and I just love to create dope shit. So, yeah, I'm blessed to be here. Yeah. Yeah. I try to use the mic, you know, and be professional, but you know, I'm not gonna keep passing it back and forth. Cause that's a lot of work, but you know, I'm gonna use my big boy voice. Okay. Thank you. All right, so. Shape each and every each of y'all's individual life daily on a daily basis. Mic check. Okay, y'all can hear me? Yes. Okay, um, for myself, um, it's crazy because I actually pivoted. So I was a stylist um, before uh, the pandemic, and then when I went into the pandemic, I came into content creating. And honestly, like it was a big shift. Um, content creating is an everyday job, all right? It is not the easiest, so I'll say that right now. Um, pretty much you're, you're creating ideas all day, you're coming up with content all day, you're looking at ideas all day, um, but I wouldn't change it for the world because it has you know, really made me into the person that I am today. Um, it's really made me like a huge creative um, and also just teaching others how to create as well and just being the brand. So I think it's something that's really uh, dope to see that I've actually shifted that, but it's, being a content creator is also really awesome. So I think that's what it is, so yeah. So just to piggyback off of that, I actually started out in theater arts, so I went to school for theater, and um, I got a marketing degree during that time as well. So I actually um, come from a more like creative space, but like on the stage. And so um, during that time, I was interviewing and interning for like news stations and that sort of thing. So I ended up, um, my first internship was with iHeartRadio back in DC, which is where I'm from. Any DC folk here? No? We got DC, yeah, DC in the house. <laughs> yeah, so I interned there for a radio personality. Her name is Elizabeth Anita, she's still on air. And then after that, I went to go um, produce for BET at the time, so I was living in New York City. Um, B, or Viacom at the time was merging with CBS, so just like any you know corporate company merging, I decided you know to pivot because there's a lot going on. So I became a morning television reporter. Um, for local affiliates like NBC, Fox, um, you know, covering murders, that co sort of thing. And I was doing like my YouTube on the side, um, but I was under contract. So a lot of the news directors, you know, they found out about my pages and stuff like that. And they would put me on these probations and stuff, but I would still do it. Because um, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm like, I know where the future is headed. Y'all go stay here in these local news markets and I'm gonna keep going because I'm a futurist, I have dreams. You know, and I know where things are headed. So in the midst of all of that, I got fired from my job. But 
thought. I was like, hey, this must be a sign, God, that I gotta go somewhere else. Amen. So I went to another news market <laughs> and became a morning host there at a, NBC, or at a Fox station in Texas. Went there <clears throat> in the midst of COVID, was going crazy. So I'm like, hey, it's time for me to make my pivot. So um, I got a morning anchor job lined up and I decided to not go to the morning anchor job the night before. And I was like, I'm gonna stay in Atlanta because I was um, kind of deciphering if I wanted to go back to New York City or stay in Atlanta. I stayed in Atlanta and that's when I started getting opportunities like X on the cold. Then I was like, okay, I'm gonna tap in with TikTok because I wasn't really active on TikTok. But yeah, like um, Jalen was saying, it's an everyday job. You're a one man band half the time. Um, but I mean, it's worth it and the money's out there, so. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> and just to piggyback off the piggyback, uh, yeah, uh, it's an everyday job. Um, uh, I started off because I was sick, um, and then I was uh, doing this for depression, for my depression, and I was just doing stupid videos online. Um, if y'all heard of Vine? Yeah. yeah. So that's why I started off on Yeah. So I was just doing stupid videos on Vine, and then boom, it just I went viral, and it was just like, I don't know, like, more important than the success is to show people that people of my skin color, people that look like me can also do this, and that would fuels me, so. All right, so Kimmy, do 